The Appalachian Trail runs right through our backyard. Each year, roughly 2,000 hikers leave from Georgia with dreams of hiking over 2,000 miles to Maine. WDBJ 7's David Kaplan met one through hiker who has an extra challenge that will make finishing the hike that much sweeter. There's like one easy mile for every 15. You know, there's tons of things to look out for. Andrew Taylor is an avid hiker from Maine who knows how daunting this is. But this story isn't about Andrew Taylor because hard as this may be, even he says it's probably tougher for Nikki Rallon. I imagine it is. It is. <laughs> At impact, I was hitting my left leg first, and that's the reason it shattered 100% completely. When you're seeing the x-ray, it was like a puzzle. Rallon has been an athlete and outdoors woman all her life since growing up in Germany. The accident happened just 16 months ago when, during a rappelling trip, her harness came undone. Her leg shattered, her pelvis broke, her ribs cracked. Rallon wasn't going to stay down, though, and this hike is case in point. She's looking to become one of the first amputees ever to through-hike the Appalachian Trail unsupported. It takes a lot of effort to push yourself every day or like for four, five, six hours to train yourself to get back in shape. Her trail name is the Bionic Woman, but there's nothing automated about the way she moves physically. She needs her hiking poles for support. The ups and downs of the terrain aren't easy with a prosthetic. But she's getting stronger. On the trail, no excuse. Uh, you wake up in the morning, you have to start hiking again. There's no magic pill will cures all your pains. I mean, you have to co overcome the pain and push yourself and live with the pain for a while. But when you push yourself and live with the pain for a while, the pain goes then away. Rallon says the trail itself is giving her physical strength, but the friends she meets along the way are giving emotional support. No pain, no gain, right? Is what Rallon says, but there's no doubt she's gaining more than most. In Bogota, David Kaplan, WDBJ7. Wow, how about that? To read more about Nikki Raylone's journey and find out how to support her, head over to WDBJ7.com.